Hey everyone, uh, this Sunday past we just talked about the uh, parable of the unforgiving servant and obviously we're talking about forgiveness and probably one of the most challenging topics there is, right? All of us struggle with um, forgiveness on some levels. Some of us carry shame and guilt and anger and resentment uh, from years ago and so I wanted just to briefly highlight some of the things that we talked about on Sunday so that you can process them and, and think about them. But I just want to start off by reading um, what is forgiveness and what is unforgiveness. So uh, on unforgiveness, it is a set of delayed emotions that consists of resentment, bitterness, hatred, hostility, anger, and fear. These emotions arise in a person because of a transgression that has wounded them psychologically or physically. Unforgiveness consumes the heart like a cancer. The wounded person responds with hot emotions of anger and fear of being wounded again. The emotions of anger and fear are not unforgiveness. But when these emotions are continually replayed mentally, the resulting delayed emotions are unforgiveness. So you can just, you know, hash that out. Um, so what is forgiveness? People think of forgiveness as what we do to get rid of unforgiveness. But forgiveness is more than relinquishing judgment to God or simply accepting the hurt and letting it pass. Now listen to this sentence. True forgiveness occurs when those cold emotions of unforgiveness are changed into warm, loving, compassionate, caring, altruistic emotions resulting from a heartfelt transformation. Forgiveness is both an act and a process. It could be compared to canceling a debt. Forgiveness is not the same as reconciliation. It takes two to reconcile. It takes only one to forgive. Those are some things I'd love for you to just to think about and, and process that at a deeper level. Uh, those of you that were at church, you know I put a backpack on and I had filled it up with like 60 pounds of rocks. And the rocks represented those, maybe the, the small rocks, the little white lies, the medium rocks, more significant things than some of those big rocks. Some of those things that if we were found out, we'd lose our job or lose our relationship with those that we love most. And we walk around with that backpack emotionally all the time. And it robs us from living in the freedom that God has for us. And um, so that's what this, this parable talks about, the, the unforgiving servant. So this one guy had owed millions and millions of dollars to the king, but the king forgave him. And then he immediately goes out and takes another guy that owes him money and strangles him, pulls him and gets him arrested for only owing him three months wages. And I, I challenged us and said, what if we only knew that part of the story? We didn't know that his de debt was canceled. We didn't know that his, his family was going to be sold into slavery. Um, but he'd been set free and canceled of that debt. By knowing that, we recognize like, oh my gosh, how could he ever possibly do this? He was just forgiven so much and here he is going out to someone who, who owes so little and he can't show him the same mercy and the same forgiveness? Why is that? And it has everything to do with what's in his heart. And so we're challenged to think about what would we do? And I really think that those of us that realize how much we've been forgiven, we recognize how much where we fall short and yet by God's grace, he's given us second chance after second chance after second chance. Maybe the more we realize that, the more we're able to extend grace to others. And really, if you think about this story, the challenge is us to us is, can we be those people that walk around and cancel out the debt of others? Because isn't that how we want to be treated? And that's what I want to challenge you with. And I want to leave you with that thought. Who in your life can you go and cancel out their debts this week? Let's be people of forgiveness and set ourselves free. And our lives will be better for it as well.